so hello students uh, through this powerpoint presentation uh, i would like to discuss the experiment study of the diuretic activity of drug using rat or mice so starting for the requirements as we require for this experiment whether we can uh, take a rat or mice whatever we want right drug we will use 2% of carboxymethyl cellulose in normal saline and basically this is for control group the strength will be 10 ml per kg in the furosemide drug and we'll check out whether the furosemide having diuretic activity or not and the furosemide will provide in 10 mg per kg strength right and the instrument which we will use to check out the diuretic activity we called it metabolic cage right and the urinary volume we will check out by using the volumetric tubes we can say the metabolic cage is arranged in such a way that can help in accumulating the urinary output of the mice or rat and after accumulation we can take it out and we can measure in a volumetric tube so can we check it exact amount of urinary output and we can correlate the urinary output in between two animals of control group and test group so starting from the theory we have to write the theory of this experiment and in this theory we have to define the diuretics as we know the diuretics is also known as water pills because it help to rid your body of salt and water basically the diuretic now if we talk about the normal urinary output in a rats it is a very small approx 1 to 2 ml per day hence to get a measurable quantity of the animals first animal must be all the animal must be hydrated means before the experiment starting the experiment we have to expose free excess of water to all the animals right and after the if the urinary output increased after the administration of a test drug if the urinary test drug is responsible for increasing the urinary output we can say the because the test drug is increasing the urinary output in comparison to control group because in the control group we will not provide the test drug only we will provide only 2% cmc normal saline so we can say is if the test group animal is producing the higher amount of urinary output we can assume the furosemide having diuretic activity and there are various example of diuretics and we will discuss all the details a mechanism of action and everything in the chapter of diuretics so in this experiment further moving to the instrument equipment equipment as i earlier talked we will use the metabolic cage this is the simple instrument we can see this is the mesh like structure right here we can put the rat and the rat we will check out whatever the urinary volume is excreted through the rat is collected in this beaker and after collecting this beaker we can take it out this beaker and put it in this this tube and we can measure what what is the exact volume of the urine so basically we use the metabolic cage we also we can use the metabolic cage also in the measurement of feces and urine in in numerous qualitative and quantitative determination so we are as we are che checking the diuretic activity we will focus on the collecting collection of urinary volume first we will take a six rat and we will divide them in two groups each group has three rats and for one group we will say this is a test group and for one group we will say it is a control group for one group which is test group we will provide the furosemide 10 ml per kg 10 mg per kg right 
and for another group we will provide vehicle that is carboxymethylized cellulose in normal saline and again now we will place them in a metabolic case separately to avoid excess of free and water and volume of urine and urinary pH we will measure basically we are going to check the volume of urine only so volume of urine and urinary pH pH can be measured also and after 5 hour after putting an animal we have to wait for 5 hour because 5 hour we will give a time to collect the urine so the after 5 hour we will measure the total volume of urinary collected in the measuring cylinder and compare the same with two groups so let's suppose we have assumed that we have in the control group we are collected for the first rat 3.3 ml 3.5 ml and 3.1 ml and after exposing the animal to the test group only test group we are exposing in which animal and that animal producing the urinary output like 12 ml 10 ml and 11 ml first we will take the average of them average is 3.3 ml and here the average is 11 11.11 ml so we are we can say as the data reveals the control group animals has the average urinary output of 3.3 ml while the test group in which we are providing the test drug that is ferrosamide they are they are exposing the urinary volume up to 11 ml so we can we can say we can conclude that test drug is responsible for increasing the urinary output up to 11 ml so we can say the test drug having the diuretic activity so, so this will be our conclusion and this will be our result and the question here are like diuretics what is natriuretic so basically the natriuretics are the diuretics and they are mainly responsible for releasing of nitrogen uh, sodium only in this uh, di diuretics are basically responsible for urinary output along with uh, urinary increasing the urinary output of through the various ion along with water various ion which may be magnesium cal calcium sodium right chloride also but when we will talk about the natriuretic natriuretic mostly responsible for excreting sodium ion only along with water and does the furosemide lower the blood pressure write down the mechanism of action of furosemide and write down the name of five diuretics these questions you have to answer so this is all about the experiment of diuretics these are the references where i took all the gather the information right and this is all about thank you very much